look so dismal. <laughs> and cold. Help me. Should I run or should I not run? Hola. El video que tengo puesto para este video is by Tower 28 and it's called Cashew. I love shoes. I love shoes. I love shoes. I could talk about shoes all day. To be honest with you, I have an extensive collection when it comes to shoes and I can never get enough. I always want shoes and I think that's my number one accessory or fashion thing that I truly love the most. So I've scoured the internet. I've gone to stores here in New York City and I found out what are the hottest shoes, like the shoes that people are really loving at the moment and why I wouldn't really get them to be honest with you. Get into it, bitches. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I posted these boots on my Insta stories. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and check me out there because I post everything that I see, all the fashion goodies, and then how I style things. And this was in my Insta stories, and I want them. These are by Alaya or Leia. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that name. These are the Pexi boots. I am obsessed. Oh my god, I don't know something about this tickles my fancy i love the glass platform it just gives it a different look and then the shoe part itself like the boot is so sexy it's up to the ankle it accentuates my calves it's gorgeous and you're like uh but the point of this video is why i wouldn't get it and to be honest with you ah, if i had the money i would be the first one in line shoving some bitch to the side to try to cram my crusty toes into a size nine for these shoes but but the number one reason I would not get these damn shoes, it's so obvious, it's ridiculous. I need to whisper this shit. It costs $2,620. <laughs> Show me now! Show me now! Numero dos, Isabel Marant. These are the Lomero boot. Okay, they're cool. They're not ugly boots, but one I've seen them so, so, so many times in so many price points, it's ridiculous. Costs $1,640. As a matter of fact, I have one in my collection. It's not in suede material. It's in a leather material, but it has the same look. It's like that Western look with a little bit more wedge type of heel get this way 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 cheaper and three i feel like it's a little too common like even if you wanted to give that amount of money you don't have to it's it's so common you can find this believe you me you don't have to go spend over a g for let's be honest somewhat generic type of boot paris texas this is the metallic embossed croc stiletto heel and this costs $825. Now, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the color itself is very intriguing because I don't normally see boots this color. I feel like, you know, when it comes to color, it's a little bit more harder to find. I guess it's just not as in demand as, let's say, darker colors in general. I mean, these are low-key fun to look at. Like, I look at them and they, they, they kind of take me somewhere. They make me think like, oh, like I'm gonna take a trip to South Beach and we're gonna do sunset hour somewhere maybe like a beach club i would rock this don't get me wrong i would rock this it's not my favorite type of heel but if i had access to it somehow like let's say i was a celebrity <laughs> i was forced to wear them i would wear them i would wear them is this something that i would go buy absolutely not to me the combination between the hot pink and the texture is just a little bit much and then the heel itself is like over five inches i believe it's like super high i wouldn't get it because to me it's just not practical it's like the type of shoe i would wear like once a year <laughs> it doesn't give me modern vibes and i tend to be way edgier but i have my moments where i can go a little bit barbie-esque Prossimo. bottega veneta okay these are the mary jane heel okay we've seen that the platforms have become the biggest thing during the whole summer with bottega veneta with valentino we've seen them and they're beautiful are they practical definitely not i ended up getting the versace medusa one in the hot pink fuchsia color ay, ay, ay. don't miss that video if you are a shoe whore I will link that video up above and down below. So these are the brand new ones coming out for the fall. And rightfully so, it's purple. And they come in a plethora of colors. So it's not just purple. And then it has like this, 
embossed engraving of this croc style effect to give you that winter and fall feel right the thing with this is as beautiful as they are and i was so rock this which is probably getting away from the idea of this video in the first place <laughs> I love fashion, right? So for me, I don't discriminate that much unless it's super uncomfortable or just doesn't look right on me. These are hot, don't get me wrong. I would totally buy it in a heartbeat, but the reason I won't is because how often am I gonna wear these shoes, right? And forget about the price. Let's just put the price at the back burner just for a couple of minutes. The fact of the matter is, is how often am I really gonna wear these shoes? I mean, let's say I end up buying one party shoe for the whole season. It wouldn't be this hot because to me, again, it's somewhat impractical. And as much as I really like them and I love how they sported it on the runway with like slacks and things like that, so cool and so sexy and effortless. At the end of the day, it isn't as versatile and as efficient as I would like it to be in New York City. Guys, have you seen the streets in New York City? It is just begging for me to break my ankle, to be quite honest with you. These are the type of shoes I need a driver. His name is Giorgio Armani, and he's taking me from A to B to C, honey. And I don't have to be walking that much and go straight to the hottest restaurants and lounges here in New York City and just sit my plush butt into some plush chair and just look cute. Prossimo. Isabel Marant. These are the metallic leather knee-high boots in this blue number and it's interesting. It's very interesting. I really appreciate the fact that these are fun boots, don't get me wrong. I love seeing fun boots. I like to see them out there because I'm one of those people that I opt for all kinds of things, you know. Sometimes I go really punk, sometimes I go really dark, sometimes I'm looking for that fabulous type of shoe, like a little bit more glam. Sometimes I'm looking for a little bit more elegant type of shoe different fashion aesthetics call for different type of shoes if i see this on somebody else i'll be like okay good I'm like, good for you you're having fun and i love that i love seeing that because i'm like that i love to have fun with my clothes i would rock them but i wouldn't buy them i would not buy them because they're blue metallic and it's giving me slight disco vibe but it's not really integrated into my kind of aesthetic when it comes to what i wear they don't appeal to me and it's not so much the blue, I think it's the shininess with the blue. It's just giving me somewhat of a throwback vibe that is just not there for me. It's not quite there for me. It's not edgy enough for me. Price for these are $1,990. Rick Owens. Rick Owens is a fire artist. A fire artist to me that seems very broken. I don't know, but broken, but dynamic. Like, I don't know, every time I look at his runway, it's like so far-fetched. That is so cool. It's so cool because to me, it's like, wow, somebody really thinks like that. Like, that's so interesting to me. These cost $1,340. And to be quite honest with you, for Rick Owens, I was expecting more. I love thigh highs. I love velvet. I love platforms, right? But I do not like this. This is giving me centaur vibes. Doesn't this give you centaur vibes with the hooves? My sign is Sagittarius, so I'm part human, part centaur. Hence why I have legs. Wait a minute, everybody has legs. But I don't necessarily want to walk around looking like a centaur. And therefore, this gives me complete centaur vibes. And I can't unsee that right now. And so therefore, I would not buy these. <laughs> I would not buy these shoes even if like, they were being thrown at me. Would I wear them? Sure, I would wear them for one day. I mean, let's just dream a little bit. I have a red carpet to go to because, you know, I am like doing press for a TV show I'm in. But that's it, okay? Once I go to the back room, to the green room, to whatever room you want to call it, I will take them off and leave them right there and I'll tell them to just, you know, send it back to the sender. <laughs> but honestly this just gives me centaur vibes and because of that it's going to be something that i would not get do you agree or disagree <laughs> let me know down below